Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my kings and queens, welcome to my channel Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Tauruses back to my channel. If you are a Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. And don't forget, guys, as always, don't forget to click like. Please click like if it does resonate as it helps the channel out. Subscribe and click the bell to get future notifications when your girl will be uploading another video. All right, so for some quick updates, guys, as usual, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my kings and queens who have already subscribed to the channel. Thank you for your continued support to the channel as we are always changing things up with the channel and doing it big. Okay, if you are a knight, K-N-I-G-H-T watcher, we'd love to have you join the royal family as a king or queen. And thank you for watching, guys. Also, don't forget to check out the community tab for this channel as I post frequent updates, inspirational messages, and when I will be going live for Q&A. All right, guys, we got something new added to the channel. We have a membership option now, okay? Um, the membership option offers for $5 only, okay, and that's for the whole month, you have access to all Zodiac Signs extended readings, okay? Um, this is just another way to save in costs um, and not having to pay for each extended reading, okay? Each membership in the um, uh, membership option has a different tier, okay? Different tiers offer different perks. For example, such as weekly check-ins about your person's feelings towards you. Then we also have a tier that offers monthly predictions in love and money, okay? Once a month, all right? The link is in the description box below, okay? If you are not interested in a membership option, a separate link is in the, in the description box uh, below where you only pay $5 for that specific reading for to watch the extended okay um all right so we do also have a p.o box address in the description box as well so if you choose to send me letters shout outs whatever the case may be donations gifts because your girl likes gifts there is an amazon wish list link in the description box below as well if you choose to help out the channel in that way by donating a deck or whatever's in the wish list uh to help your girl out all right and i want to say thank you in advance all right, guys, that was a mouthful. So we are going to get into your weekly reading. And as you already know, um, if you are already um, a king or queen of the channel, this reading does come with an extended, okay? So just click on the link that applies to you if you choose to watch the extended reading. In the extended, we dive in deeper into the message, guys. We go over the outcome of the situation, what action is needed, okay, to bring this to fruition for you, okay? Or what the challenge is that's keeping you from uh, the situation or your person, okay? Then we also go into how is your person truly feeling towards you and what is it that they're not telling you? And if it is a new love, who is this person and what are their true intentions towards you in love, okay? Then we close out with some overall advice from Spirit. So we are going to use the Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck to get us started, okay? To find out what is going on with my Tauruses this week, okay? Okay, and sun moon rising and Venus to the highest light to the purest good. Spirit, what's the energy here? What's the message for my Tauruses this week? What's the energy here for my Tauruses, please? What's the energy coming through this week? Oh, wow. Okay, we got open up. Okay, so for some of you, you're needing to open up. For some of you, you could be feeling a little guarded towards something or someone, okay? Um, that is the four of pentacles, okay? Clarify further, Spirit, what's the energy here? Rest and reconsider. Okay, so for some of you, you're separated from your person, okay? But for some of you, you're being very guarded towards this person. Not wanting to open up here, you know, is the energy. But for some of you, you are reconsidering um, opening up and wanting to finally talk. Or maybe you're wanting your person to talk. Or this could be your person's energy. We also have the um, Teach card here, okay? This is the Hierophant card. So this is letting me know that this is something that where it was a deep commitment between two people, okay? Um, there was an unexpected change 
change here between you guys. Um, for some of you, you could be married to this person or it was a very deep commitment or there was a discussion of marriage. This could even mean for some of you, you are on a spiritual path. I'm also seeing here for some of you, you could be going back to school or, you know, furthering your education, focusing on yourself at this time, okay? Figuring out how you can expand, okay? We also have at the bottom of the deck, joy and stability, which is the four of wands. So like I said, for some of you, you could have been married in this situation to this person. So currently you are separated from your person. If you are not married, you discuss marriage or you could be, um, it was a very deep committed relationship, okay? Okay. All right, so let's dive into your message this week. Let's see what's going on because I am seeing um, for my Tauruses this week, the energy that's being picked up here is, you know, some of you are reconsidering wanting to reconcile with your person, okay? Um, but a lot, I'm seeing there's a, a break here between you and your, your person. Um, you are separated. There's some type of blockage here. Someone's wanting to open up though, okay? Someone's wanting to finally express how they truly feel after some time. Okay, you guys could have been separated for nine weeks, nine days, nine months, nine years. Someone is wanting to reconsider. Someone's feeling regretful in the situation as well as what I'm seeing here, okay? All right, let's, let's dive in. Spirit, what's the energy here this week for my Tauruses? What's the energy here this week, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to the highest level for the peace. Good. All right, let's see what the energy is coming through for you guys this week. Wow, guys, you cannot make this shit up. The first card is the fucking four of pentacles. Don't we have that here? That's all about being guarded, being protective of your energy, okay? Someone here is just not willing to open up, but maybe considering wanting to open up after some time. Or maybe this is how you're feeling towards your person. Wow, the first card, guys, the four of pentacles, four of pentacles crazy we have the page of pentacles here as well feeling grounded we have the five of wands we have the two of pentacles and the fucking four of wands guys you cannot make this up guys the four of wands didn't we have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck look at this the four of wands the joy and stability card is all about the four of wands okay so like i said for some of you you are married to this person okay this was a happy home this was a happy dynamic okay uh, between two souls we also have here on uh, the bottom of the deck the magician card okay so this is a situation where um someone's manifesting i feel like someone's wanting a new beginning and wanting a fresh start okay so let's dive into the energies that is coming across here for my Tauruses this week. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So you could be dealing with a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, your own energy, or this could be your energy I'm channeling here, okay? We also have Fire Energy, so Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, okay? So I'm seeing here, this was a situation just touching the surface where it required you to be um, guarded or protected of your, protective of your energy. I feel like someone needed to be more grounded here, okay? Someone had to um, rely on themselves um, to bring it back together, to bring it back home, okay, is what I'm seeing here, okay? I'm also seeing here with the... Um, Hold on, guys. One second. Sorry. I'm also seeing here with the Five of Wands energy. This was definitely something where there was some type of uh, um, mental confliction between you and your person. It could even mean some arguments between you and this person, some disagreements, not being able to see eye to eye here. OK, uh, but this this required you to find your ground or maybe find common ground within each between each other here. Uh, with this two of pentacles, there's a lot, there was an, a decision that needed to be weighed. I feel like someone was weighing out their options, weighing out, you know, uh, what, what direction they want to go in. Okay. Is what I'm seeing here with the four of wands. I'm also seeing here that this was, like I said, a very deep committed relationship between two people. The four of wands is all about homecoming, celebration, family, weddings, okay? I'm seeing here that, um, you know, for a lot of you, you were married to this person and now there's a separation here between you and your person, okay? For some of you, like I said, it's a very deep commitment. Maybe you were engaged to this person at one point, uh, but there's definitely a break between you and this person, but someone is wanting to finally open up is what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, someone wants to continue to build a strong foundation with this person is what I'm seeing. Um, and I feel like this is uh, what was needed in this connection 
connection, a strong foundation here, especially with this page of pentacles being on the board. This is all about a new beginning progress, you know, a, adventure, rediscovering things about yourself, or even just rediscovering things about the connection on a whole. I feel like someone's learning a lot here. Okay, maybe going through some type of life lesson here on um, why the teach card is here, which is also the Hierophant card, okay? Um, but I feel like someone here is going through some type of life lesson, some type of journey. Someone's learning something, okay? Learning something here, okay? Uh, when it comes to this connection. But I, nonetheless, someone is manifesting um, the situation. Someone's wanting to uh, rekindle the flame is the energy I'm seeing here. We're going to use the uh, Spellcaster Tarot deck to clarify the energy further and see what is going on here because I'm definitely seeing someone wanting to finally open up. Someone's tired of um, the break. Someone's tired of the silent treatment. Someone's tired of, you know, the no communication. Someone wants to come home. Okay, someone wants to reconsider. Someone's ready to wave the white flag. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Someone is definitely ready to wave the white flag. My sources. Let's see what is going on. Spirit, what's the energy here for my sources this week? Clarify the four of pentacles, the page of pentacles, the five of wands, the two of pentacles, and the four of wands. What's the message here that is needing to be relayed? Yeah, someone here, see the seven of the seven of um pentacles is here. Someone here wants to reinvest in the situation. Okay, someone here wants to work on the connection. They want to reinvest in it. They they miss the dynamic of being together. Someone wants to pour into the relationship some more. Um, this is even after being guarded. I feel like with the page of swords at the bottom of the deck, this is someone, you know, that could be younger than you. Maybe you're younger than this person. Um, but I am seeing, you know, something is coming in here, okay? Um, for you guys. I'm feeling like some type of message is coming in towards you, okay? Um, clarify the Page of Pentacles spirit. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Thank you so much. Yep, we have the star and we have the fool. Yeah, someone here wants a new beginning. I feel like someone here went through a process or a journey where there was a lot of healing here. You know, a lot of um, emotions were on the table, okay? I feel like someone here wants a new start, a fresh start. Um, with the star energy, I'm seeing that either you're seeing this person as a star or this person is seeing you as a star. But nonetheless, someone here is regrounding themselves. Someone here wants to uh, give back to the relationship, okay? Um, the star energy is all about healing feeling content destined to be with someone and someone is feeling like that someone's feeling like they're destined to be with this person okay um but i'm also seeing here with the full card that's all about a new beginning um taking a leap of faith someone's being very hopeful optimistic and just wants a fresh start willing to dive off this cliff cliff into a new beginning okay here a fresh start all right, let's go ahead and clarify further why the five, uh, five of wands is here. Spirit. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. So we have here the two of swords. Okay. Someone here is at a crossroads and needing to make a decision. Okay. Someone, someone's ready to, 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 uh, yeah, look at that. The chariot at the bottom of the deck. The chariot is all about determination, victory, willpower, building the courage you need to move forward or move towards something or someone. Okay. Overcoming obstacles. Yeah. I'm seeing here a decision is, is, is on the horizon here or someone needs to make a decision about something. Okay. Um, is what I'm seeing here. Someone's ready to move forward. Okay, if you were stuck in the past, someone's ready. Someone's tired of resting. Someone's ready for something to happen here, okay? I feel like there's a lot of uh, mental confliction here, but someone here is like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and jump jump right in. Whether this person rejects me or not, I'm ready to go uh, full speed ahead. Clarify the two of pentacles, please. Why is the two of pentacles here, please? Thank you so much. We have the four of pentacles, okay? We have the four of pentacles here again again look at that the four of pentacles is on the board three times guys three times someone is ready to open up okay someone's been guarded for so long and look it fell over the two of pentacles someone here is needing to make a decision they're way, starting to weigh out their options someone's weighing out their option if they want to finally go ahead and make that move finally open up finally discuss how they're truly feeling okay that decision is being weighed out if it hasn't been weighed out already someone's realizing okay well do I want to continue on this path? I really miss my person. I want to work things out. Is what I, wow, look at that. I just picked this up, the two of cups. 
the, the, the two of cups is here okay two of cups is all about romantic love partnerships proposal marriage okay someone wants to come forward someone wants to finally open up and express how they feel someone learned a life lesson here and i feel like that life lesson that was learned here was like they realize what life is without you or you realize what life is without them okay someone's tired of resting clarify the four of wands why is the four of wands here please thank you so much oh look at that guys the king of wands is here the king of wands okay so this is someone who you could be dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius but this person is very confident strong you know this person also has a way with words this person could even be a little self-centered here okay um controlling hot tempered have a high ego so maybe this person is uh ready to put their guard down and move forward towards you okay is what i'm seeing here okay um, this person could also be a, a bit uh, stubborn at times and situations as well, okay? But someone here is ready to make a move, okay? Someone here is ready to move forward. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles, the Fool card, the Two of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the King of Wands for my choices, please. Thank you so much. Yep, the Page of Cups. Someone's ready to reinvest their energy. Someone's ready to move forward, okay? The Page of Cups is all about love news, okay? Someone's coming in here to, to make you an offer in love, okay? This is all about um, new love coming in, okay? Someone ready to express their emotions, okay? Someone who is ready to pour the, uh, wear their heart on their sleeve here, okay? Is what I'm seeing here, okay? Clarify the full card spirit. Why is the full card here? Thank you so much. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. Someone's coming back. Someone wants to offer you stability, okay? Someone's coming in and wanting to offer you stability, okay? This is going to require patience on your end. At the bottom of the deck, there goes that chariot card again, okay? This is all about being determined, victory, being on a journey, overcoming obstacles, building that willpower to finally do something or say something. Someone here is ready to talk. Someone wants to speak. Someone wants to come forward. Someone's ready to open up. We get the four of pentacles on the board three times. Someone's ready to talk. Someone's manifesting. Someone's, oh, oh, look, right behind that. Someone's ready to give. Someone's ready to give to the relationship. If they weren't given before, they're ready to give now, okay? Yes, yes, look at that. Right after that, guys, look at that, is the uh, nine of cups. Someone's ready to give. Someone's ready to give. Someone realizes how happy they were when they were with this, when they were in this connection. And boom, there you go. The Hierophant card is right after that, okay? And don't we have the Hierophant card here? Someone's ready to give to the relationship. Someone's ready to reconnect. Someone's ready to speak their truth, Okay, so something is coming in here. Someone's making that decision. Someone's at a, a crossroads right now and make me, is making that decision to move forward. Clarify, uh, someone's going to be the bigger person. <clears throat> well, we have way too many cards here, but we're going to take them all. Yep, we have the Eight of Cups, which is all about heartbreak. Uh, you know, leaving a situation, um, but leaving a passionate situation, okay? Someone's here. You see all these cups here? on the side you got all these cups but you're focused on this one cup that spilled okay but you got so much over here someone's feeling unfulfilled someone's feeling like okay you know i i moved on but i'm not happy i'm not happy i'm not where i am supposed to be i want to go home okay we also have here okay we have the two of pentacles clarify fell over the two of pentacles again it's weighing very heavy on this person whether this is you or your person this this decision is weighing, weighing very heavy someone's ready to wave their white flag and come forward and express how they truly feel the sun card is here this is all about success happiness they're very happy this is about reconciliation okay for some of you you could have children with this person okay um but this is all about good news coming in guys someone's wanting to come in and express how they truly feel they are they are tired they are tired of playing this game look at this at the bottom of the deck there's the magician again yet they're manifesting they're manifesting they're tired of playing this game they're ready to move forward they're ready to to be with you they're ready to love again is what i'm seeing here okay guys can't okay, this is the energy coming through in the reading okay clarify this king of wands why is the king of wands here please thank you spirit yeah they're tired of being alone they're tired of being alone. They feel unfulfilled. They're unhappy. They have the 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 nine of uh, pentacles is here. Okay, this is someone who is a boss. Someone who is loves the finer things in life. Maybe be even be well off financially. Okay, but even though they got everything they 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 want in life, okay, they still feel like they don't have everything they need. 
okay or vice versa even though they have everything they need they feel like they don't have everything they want either way however you want to chop it up they feel like they still want another chance they're ready to come in and speak their truth here's the justice card the justice card is all about making that making a decision finally coming forward ready to speak your truth life lessons being learned okay this person is tired of being single or if it's, they are not single they're, they're tired of being without you Okay, even if they're 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 in a relationship, they feel empty inside. They're tired of it. They're tired of it. They want to they want to come forward. Okay, they're ready. This is whether this is you or them. Someone wants to to open up. Someone's like to hell with this shit. This is so petty. I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna express how I truly feel. We are adults. If this person decides they don't want me, I am going to move on with my life. Okay, but someone's finally, you know, they're, they're just tired. You know, with this five of wands, I'm feeling that energy. They're, they're, they're really tired. They're tired of hoping and wishing and waiting, you know, and, and just ready to make a move. Clarify the page of cups. Yeah, the, the, ten of, the ten of wands, the ten of swords is here, okay? Ready to make a move. This is all about endings, okay? But starting anew, starting a new beginning, okay? This is about painful endings, but ready to move forward. At the bottom of deck, there she is, the Queen of Wands. Don't we have the King of Wands over on the other end? Yep, you guys are a perfect match. Or you guys are um, in a very committed re relationship, a spiritual connection between two souls here, okay? Clarify the Page of Pentacles spirit. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Please, thank you. Yeah, the happy Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. They want a new beginning with you, okay? They want their family back. Either you or them. You want your family back. You want this dynamic back. You miss the love. They miss the love. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the person that I love back. Clarify the two. Of, at the bottom of the deck, there was a Two of Cups again. Clarify the uh, two, of, uh, two of Swords. Yep. The Four of Swords here. You're tired of resting. You're tired of uh, being stuck. Okay? You're ready to make a move. You're ready to move forward. You want to build a foundation. Okay? You're tired of, of waiting and waiting and, and working on yourself. You know, you're just ready to move forward. You're tired of resting. It says rest and reconsider. That's why the Four of Swords are here. The Four of Swords is all about resting. Yes, you're resting, but now you're reconsidering. Hey, I, maybe I'm getting a little bit too much damn rest. Okay. <laughs> Clarify the Sun card. Clarify the Sun card, please. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, well, the Justice card. Ready to speak your truth ready to come in and tell and make that decision ready to make a decision ready to restore balance to the connection clarify the nine of pentacles please clarify the nine of pentacles okay uh we have the nine of swords someone's hurting in silence someone is hurting in silence someone can't take it anymore this is becoming way too much i miss you so so much i i i can't do it anymore I have to release this energy, whether it, it's going to lead to closure and I move on with my life or it's going to lead to me moving forward with the person I know I'm supposed to be with. I am ready. I am tired. I am restless. I am ready to finally get some damn sleep because I cannot sleep without this person at night. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to use the romance angel to dive into the overall energy or the overall message here. What's the what's the overall energy here? What's the overall energy? All right, let's see what the overall energy is here for my Tauruses. What's the energy here, please? Thank you. Thank you. Passion. There's a lot of passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, there's a lot of passion between you're remembering the passion you had with this person. It says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Okay, so you guys are on a spiritual journey here. Okay, and I feel like the spiritual journey is leading you right back together. At the bottom of the deck, we have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Yes, this is what we're going to take that card that's meant to be here. That's all about you guys expressing how you truly feel towards each other. And you're going to take the opportunity and finally open up. You're ready to reconsider here you learned a life lesson okay clarify further what's the energy coming through here thank you spirit oops that fell on the floor guys give me a second let me grab that card here yeah playfulness to recapture romance okay allow your inner youthful spirit to of uh, uh fun to shine yeah you're remembering all the happy times you guys had together you cannot take it anymore you are ready 
to move forward. You are ready to have this conversation with your person. If that leads to rejection, you're okay with that because you know that you put in the effort and you try. Either you or this person, but that's the energy that's coming through here. Someone's not wanting to give up. Someone's ready to move forward, okay? One more card. What's the other energy that's coming through here? Wow, we have a lot. Yep, you deserve love. You deserve love flew out here, okay? You deserve love. This is all about you uh, realizing, okay, well, I deserve to, to, to channel my heart's desires here. I deserve, sorry, I had to pick the card up so that I might be a little louder with the mic there. Um, yeah, so I deserve love here. I, I deserve to channel how I truly feel and express how I truly feel. I have one life to live. What can I lose at this point is what I'm seeing here. And then we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Yeah, because some of you are married to this person, okay? And for some of you, you have children with this person. And if you're not married, like I said, um, you are were in a deep committed, maybe even engaged to this person. This was about two people being in a serious connection or a serious relationship. And children could be involved here. For some of you, you could have children with this person, okay? All right, guys, you are going to want to meet me over in the extended, like I said, this is all about finding out the outcome of this situation between you and your person. This is all about, too, what action is needed here between you and your person. How is this person truly feeling towards you? We're going to dive in. What is it that they're not telling you? What is it that they're hiding, okay? Uh, what is it that they're masking in their feelings? We are also going to dive in. If, it's a, if a new love is coming in here towards you, who are they and what are the intentions? But I'm really feeling like this reading is about your past person, okay, guys? So if this reading is not for you, then stay tuned. I do uh, weekly readings. Readings, okay, guys, we also have advice. Uh, uh, we're going to close out with some advice also over in the extended from spirit. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the extended. Bye. I guess you're back. Are you going to tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply.